Thoughts on Four-Dimensional Space. It was a great book. It was written in the 19th century by a mathematician called Flatland. Read about it. And it gives you a great perspective. It's as if a creature exists in a two-dimensional space. And it explains the rules of the system and how a two-dimensional creature lives. And uh, the, the simplest creatures are lines. And then you know, after that, they have you know, uh, triangles and rectangles. And eventually you get to polygons. And the kings of that world, the high priests of Flatland, are circles. <laughs> so... Uh, the uh, th this is uh, an amazing book because you then start thinking what does a two-dimensional world actually look like and how does that work and then when you go to the 3d world uh, the character in Flatlands is square and is elevated out of the two-dimensional world by a sphere and by the way a sphere appears as a circle in a two-dimensional world right just a cross-section of it now going up and down the plane the circle changes ch it's um, radius but it's a circle when you cut a cross section so then you're in a three-dimensional world and you're in the, the square is like oh my god this is so crazy and of course nobody believes the square inside flatland and what this is nice is that it's an analogy to the fourth dimension so we're three-dimensional and you go to the fourth dimension we'd actually be hollow we'd have an open dimension so we appear closed just like to a two-dimensional object a house would appear closed but if you're 3d you can look into it from the top right well, similarly, we would appear open to a 4D object. So that's a great book to read because it really provokes the thought of what is the fourth dimension? What would that be all about? Rudy Rucker also wrote a wonderful book on hypergeometry, and I highly recommend it.